Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 4 of this Let's Play Victoria 2. This is the army with the state. We are playing as Prussia. In the last episode, we finished the rather disastrous war against France and Russia, which wiped out most of our army. Like, we suffered big time, way more than we should have in those circumstances, and that's mostly because I just forgot Russia was a French ally, and we prioritized things completely wrongly. Plus, I hadn't quite realized how bad attrition was in this game, and it just decimated our forces, far more than the combat did itself. So, I need to be more careful about keeping stacks smaller, and uh, worry more about the positioning of forces. Like, our maximum army size dropped from, I think it was 60 to 16. We are currently over our maximum army size. Now, this doesn't work in the same way as force limits. Like, it doesn't cost you anymore for being over. It just means that those guys won't get reinforced because there's literally no soldiers left in those population groups to reinforce. So if we're having a look at some of these armies, you will see that they are under strength and their um, icon here is red. That means they simply don't have enough troops to reinforce any further. And if it's yellow, then there are too few but it's still going to increase and if it's white then they're just fine they'll reinforce to full strength so we need to focus more on recruitment which i think we've already done schleson and nordheim are both going to be recruiting more and we also need to recover our economy now thankfully we've gone back up to third strongest in terms of great powers uh, as our army recovers that should grow even stronger and our economy itself took a battering a bunch of our factories have actually closed down completely so we are going to need to open some of those now i thought nordheim clothworks was actually making money so we'll see their money needed 1900 to reopen it so we are going to do that and hopefully they will recover because there's 9000 unemployed workers here so as they start filtering back into work there we go it's now turning a profit again now we do have a bit of a shortage in cotton and dye but that should stabilize and then start growing again uh, Posen has a cloth works which just doesn't have anyone here working in it so that's a different problem and then we have 7,000 people here in Schleusen not working so I think we're going to start the explosives factory again that's going to cost us another 1,200 but that's fine people are going to start cycling in that'll start going and then once this is more stable then we'll reopen the artillery factory because we need explosives to make artillery um, and at some point we'll probably also want to build a uh, steel mine uh, glass factory, lumber mill, small arms factory. Make steel. So yeah, all of our factories are back in business. And in fact, this one is making a small fortune at the moment. That is very profitable. So that was a very good investment, apparently. Because the more monies that the factories make, the more money it goes into the workers' pockets, and the more money goes into the capitalists' pockets. Uh, I can increase the opinion of Hanover. So we should do that. Ah, we can add them to the sphere. Boom. So Hanover is now no longer in the UK sphere, they are in ours, which is glorious. Uh, Unholt is growing hostile, no sorry, it's still hostile to Austria, so I don't really care. And so long as they are in our sphere, they can't discredit them. Brauschweig, I think we do need to discredit Austria because they are growing really quite strong here. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to discredit Austria and we're going to start influencing Braunschweig. Braunschweig. Uh, so we're currently doing Hanover and Braunschweig. We don't need to do Hanover anymore. We just need to make sure that we combat them. In fact, we probably should have waited until we had 50 and then just banned them. Uh, Frankfurt is having a similar problem. We're going to increase our influence here and we are going to discredit Austria to make sure that they stop growing. Anywhere else, that's dangerous. A little bit in Hess-Darnstadt, but I don't think Spain will focus them very much. No one's really there. Nassau, no, that's fine. Se Tax Mammingham's fine. The Ottomans are trying to do a bit. Ah, Saxony, Austria is still friendly, so we really need to keep an eye on Austria here. In fact, I want to continue doing Saxony. Uh, just so that we can build some and then get rid of the Austrians in these places. We're going to keep an eye on them. Are the Austrians growing at all? No. Oh, no, they are growing in Saxony. So I was right to be a little bit concerned about Saxony. They're going to try and steal it from us again. And we can't be having that. 
Okay, so we are making money again. A couple of things which we have not done yet since the last episode has increased our education spending again. We can actually go all the way to maximum with that, which I quite like the sound of. And apparently it's a good idea to get administration all the way up to 100%. Like, so full funding until it hits 100 and then reduce it until it stays stable at 100. So we're going to reduce our income until it's just about stable. It should go up as our factories get more and more turnover. We tax them, basically. Following Britain's lead in 19... 1839, Prussia, under the influence of some religious and social figures, passed a law strictly regulating the amount of child labour that was possible during the year. Okay, so we gain a bit of prestige, and North German, South German gain conscious. That's fine. Keep increasing this. Yeah, industry is definitely the key to making money. And we want to keep that rolling over. Okay, our military is now up to 17, so that should be recovering pretty quickly, especially as we are focusing... Um, people in those states. We are building a glass factory. Some oh, we're upgrading the glass the glass factory. And I wouldn't be surprised if they try and upgrade the uh, cloth factories as well. Okay, this is losing money again. Why is that? Cost of items, maybe. So there are a couple of things that we can do to improve the profitability of our factories. The biggest one is by building more railroads. That means that you can import materials more easily and I think it also increases the factory output. Um, so how do I do that? Do I have to go on a place by place? Can I even build railroad? No, because we don't have experimental railroads, do we? We do not. We still need to research that, so never mind. Kind of irrelevant. Let's merge you guys together. So what did we lose? We lost mostly infantry, I would say. So we need to uh, recruit some more infantry once we are back up to full support strength. Population still increasing. You can see from the green number there, that is population growth on a daily basis, I believe. Yep. Friedrich Wilhelm something. I have no idea what that figure is. On June the 7th, oh, it's the 3rd. That is not a 3. Come on. On June the 7th, 1840, Frederick Wilhelm III died, almost forty, sorry, almost 70 years old. His son, a romantic, succeeded him on the throne. All pops in Prussia, that support liberal gain consciousness. We've still got very high consciousness. Yeah, militancy we don't want, consciousness we do, because consciousness increases the amount of reforms people want, and reforms are good. Yeah, we are 13th in terms of military strength right now, so we absolutely need to be investing in this. But it's, it's growing, it's growing, it's fine. I think we can afford to go back to speed 4, and we can probably afford to invest even more in our admin. I'd quite like to reduce our tariffs a little, to make life a little easier for our people. I mean, they're getting all of their life needs, at least. It's just that the poor don't have enough money for their everyday needs. Now, we can actually see what items those are, I think. Think. Life needs. There you go. Everyday needs are ammunition, small arms, coal, tea, liquor, regular clothes, and furniture. And then the luxuries are paper, tobacco, coffee, liquor, regular clothes, and furniture. Or is that just because you are. Is that on a per pop basis? So if we were to select aristocrats, for example, their life needs. That's just food. Everyday needs are coal, paper, tobacco, coffee, wine, luxury clothes, and luxury furniture. Bloody hell, what do you consider a luxury? Ammunition, small arms, clipper convoys, steamer convoys, and opium. Okay, so I did not actually know that. Different uh, population types have different requirements. That makes sense. So a poor person considers having furniture a luxury, while an aristocrat considers that just an everyday thing, I guess. We are importing a lot of ammunition. Or is that... No, we're exporting a lot of ammunition. Because we produce ammo. Yeah, we do. So we export cattle, ammunition, and cloth. That makes sense. The upgrade is halfway done. So you can see there the level. And every level of factory increases the worker requirement by 10,000. And then also, obviously, increases the output too. Algeria accepted the offer from Spain. Are we still having problems in any of these? Neutral. Neutral. 
Uh, yes, Hess Darnstadt Spain is actually going after. So we need to go and stop that. Uh, discredit Spain. How close is Spain to losing their great power position? I'm 78. I would say they're not very. Sort by rank. Number nine, Belgium. I don't think Belgium's going to be overtaking Spain anytime particularly soon. Although Belgium has a huge industry, they might just from that, but their military is not very big. And the Netherlands, kind of a similar thing, but the Netherlands is very balanced. And actually, at some point, we should try and influence the Netherlands and Belgium, because they can be very strong to have in your sphere. All right, Saxony is still growing. We really need to ban Austria if we can. Uh, expel advisors, Austria, which we can do. What does it do? Removes all influence and also removes discredit. So yeah, we are going to do that because that means they lose 91 influence, which is a big blow. And now, because we are not focusing on very much stuff, we are improving. All right. So we absolutely need to do that. And the next thing I think I want to do is ban Austria from that area. I think we're okay elsewhere. Oh no, France is growing quite strong and on halt. I need to keep an eye on that. All right, we're up to 24 units, so we can start training some more very soon. Our military is growing. And Austria remains interested in Saxony, though they are not growing as quickly as we are. So I think in Saxony we will discredit them as soon as we can. And then I might even ban their embassy or whatever it's called. Come on. Oh. Trouble is brewing. It seems that the UK has decided to back Poland in the current crisis. That's not good. In 1838, 42 choral societies from the Rhineland, Baden, Hesse, and Franconia met in Frankfurt to celebrate a three-day festival of Mozart's music. The event turned into a demonstration for the political unification of Germany, however. Gain one plurality. Plurality is good. Okay, so... Crises. These things are annoying. Oh, this is against Russia, not against me. I was freaking worried because they were talking about Poland, and I own half of Poland. Okay, so we can pick a side in this, either for the UK or for Russia. So if we did this, then Poland acquires all states with core provinces from Russia. Which would significantly weaken Russia, and would also allow me to then go after Poland myself. So I'm going to sit on the fence for a while to keep an eye on how things go, if Russia gets any backers or if the UK gets more backers. But that is something we might well want to get involved in. Interesting. All right. We are making a lot of money. So we can raise you to the top. And now I can start reducing tariffs. Which we're going to do to here because we have a lot of money in the bank. Okay, Saxony. We're at 25. Discredit Austria. Bye bye. And it looks like Sax Memmingen they're trying to increase. Now, what the hell do I need to form the North German Confederation? Because I have a feeling I might be able to do it, but it's not telling me. Um, no, where are they? Politics? Ah, oh, here we go. Decisions. What are we lacking? Oh, it's probably um this. Yeah, that's what we're missing. Okay, so we need to get Holstein in our own sphere. So we'll need to focus on you. Saxony is still growing, damn it. Our name has been discredited. They've immediately discredited us here, so we're going to stop raising you. Brauschweig. Austria was trying something here. I don't think I need to focus you quite so much anymore. Uh, Lubeck, potentially. 
Sachs, Merming, and I think we're going to need to start raising influence here. It's going to be so much easier when we don't have to deal with all the bloody German miners. How are the factories doing? Uh, that's still closed, but we don't have the uh, craftsmen to do anything there. Glass Factory is now making a little bit of money, but you are still very much unemployed. I think that was a bad decision on your part, honestly. But who am I to say? That's market economics. It's not my job to get involved. France has joined the Russians. I think once the temperature hits 100, then it either triggers or doesn't. War break out in 167 days of a diplomatic solution is not found. So the Ottomans are supporting the British, the Austrians and the French are supporting the Russians. Now this is a war I cannot really afford. So I'd rather not get involved. But I have a feeling if you don't get involved you lose some prestige. And obviously the diplomatic bonuses of getting involved here are very good. I really need to ban you, but you're growing very quickly. How are you growing so quickly? I've discredited you. You're not. We're growing faster. Good. Unhalt is definitely becoming a problem. Thank you, France. You're still neutral there. I mean, you're neutral in all of those places, but I'd rather not let you get any higher, if possible. Saxony is definitely the worst. I need to just outright ban... Saxony. Prevents them from doing any diplomatic actions there for a year. Oh, it only costs 65. Interesting. I thought it cost more than that. Okay. Oh, we can do another reform. We can allow voting. I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. We can censor the press. Or, sorry, we can reduce the press censorship. We can allow non-socialists and trade unions, or we can prevent harassment, which is better voting. Now, I think we're going to continue allowing more trade union stuff. Because that gives more and more social awareness. And now we can start recruiting soldiers. Okay, cool. So what are we low on? We have cavalry and artillery here. Cavalry and artillery there. And engineers. Oh, it's definitely infantry. We just need more infantry. Build more infantry soldier types. In all of these places. Just just all of them. There's going to be a couple which are going to be underpowered. But that's fine. We're going to be losing money for a while because we are raising soldiers. So we may well need to raise tariffs again. I don't particularly want to reduce anything else. To pay for those armies. Middle class, I think we can raise your taxes slightly, just to pay for this army. Because a couple of you are getting your luxuries. Okay, crisis is at 84. It looks like this is going to kick off. Spain is on the fence. Oh, I see. Spain is saying, I will accept if you give me something. I think we're going to join. Okay, Spain's joined them. We're going to join them. You guys now massively outnumber these guys. They want to humiliate the UK. So this is going to be four majors against three majors. But we will be on the front line. So we definitely need those extra troops being built. And we're going to try and stay back. I think I'm going to let Britain fight France mostly, and I will deal with. Austria and Russia. Oh, man, this is going to be bad. Austria is going to be fighting the Ottomans as well. So it's going to be primarily me versus Russia, and I'm okay with that. So I think it's time to start shifting our troops into better positions. Right, now our navy is stuck outside. I think we lost a couple of ships. All right, so war is about to break out. Boom. It seems the field of battle will decide who is right. So we are fighting Russia, France, and Austria at the moment. So it goes. How are you growing so quickly in Saxony? This is ridiculous.
Just keeping an eye on these guys to make sure they're not growing still. Frankfurt on mine, we can stop raising. I think we can afford to. Yeah, we're not doing it there. Where are we whoops, where are we prioritizing right now? Saxony we definitely need to. I don't think we need to do it there so much and we don't need to do it in Unholt. Is Unholt friendly with anyone? No. Okay. You have attack. You have attack. You have attack. Do we have anyone who has defense? Actually, what I want to do is get rid of him, because he's rubbish. Although he's fast. Alright, let's just move. We're still making money. We have a lot of unemployment. We have a number of factories being built. We reduced the speed. We did indeed reduce the speed. So we just need to wait until the Austrians and the Russians arrive. I think I'm just going to stay relatively defensive here and wait for more soldiers to be built. Except the Austrians seem to be bringing in more troops. Planes don't give any bonuses, unfortunately. Let's move you guys forwards. It's actually a good thing that Breslau doesn't. Then we can hit Breslau from three positions. And hopefully kill them. We get attack bonuses, so this is good, and then we'll have to fight them as well. Attack is commenced. We have way more morale than they do. We outnumber them two to one, and we have a better general. Battle of Saarbrücken. Not Battle of Saar. Oh, probably against minions. Yeah, this war is not going to go well for me. Where are you going? Kustrin. Hopefully this is a better victory. We're getting decent war score from this at least. I spread our armies out a little bit more so that we don't take the attrition and then I think we need to go up and fight against Russia. Uh, I thought I split you up. Apparently not. Let's send you up to go and fight the Russians. And then the two smaller armies can stay here to deal with the Austrians. Oh, we've got a bunch more troops over here. Let's get them away from the French. We're about to lose that one, which is annoying. I mean... Let's have you attack them. We can bring you in as support if we need to. Let's stay here. Okay, you're moving a big army into Breslau. Oh, bollocks, I wasn't watching. Reinforcements. Go, go, go. Yes. Massive reinforcements. Group all of you guys together. Send you in as well. You've just been built. Head over here. Oops, no. Over there. That's fine. Kustrin, we won. Excellent. Let's group you two together. <clears throat> Alright, you go to Posen. You do that. Fighting a battle there, which we should win easily. Good. Have the British arrived yet? Yes, they have. Excellent. Okay, how's Saxony doing? Saxony, we're at 100. So at this point, we can ban Embassy Austria. Boom. 
We're going to continue improving relations, and we're going to reduce their... Um, interest in that place. We're about to lose a small army. Let's back you off. Can't. And you died. Damn it! You just got built. And I think we may go after this group. Okay, we killed them. Oh no. Was that another unit dying? I hope not. Okay, we won the Battle of Breslau. Let's march into this. Opeln, they've just managed to take, unfortunately. Who's winning this so far? Oh, we are thrashing them. Interesting. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, split you guys up a little bit again. You can go and attack over here. You can go and join them. And you're just going to keep on ruffle stomping the Russians, I think. Gives us a good amount of war score, all of this. You can group up. Are we still building more troops? A couple. Two of which are in Breslau, so we definitely want to hold on to that. We want to send you back over this way. Allenstein, which was you. Let's go and crush them. Send you over to Kustrin or even Cottbus. We will need to go and fight the French at some point. But it looks like the British are doing pretty well over there. And we're starting to raise some more troops. Are you attacking me in Breslau? That is probably not good for you. In fact, you should all start moving over here to reinforce. So, no, they've decided to run off. Stay here, group up. You go and attack them. Okay. It's fine. We got this. We are losing money, but we have quite a lot of money in the bank, so I think we're just fine. Move you over there, we'll move you into support. And once we engage with them, we can bring in the second army as well. Oh, you arrived before us. That's irritating. Because it means we don't get any commander bonus whatsoever. That was not a good victory. You need to back off and reinforce. You can stay... You can stay back here. We need to keep on attacking into them. Whoops. Beer hall opening. That's the first piece of good news we've had for a while. Another beer hall has opened in one of our provinces today, adding yet another notch to the province's reputation as a paradise for ramblers, gamblers, and drunkards alike. For every hundred citizens in the province, there is now a saloon, brothel, beer hall, or other institution of vice and sin. While spirits may serve to raise even the bleakest of moods, the long-term effects of overconsumption are not to be dealt with. Cheers. I don't care. Beer's good. Friendly Society. The so-called Friendly Society has been established in one of our provinces. The Friendly Society is a loose association of people often working in the same or similar trades as each other, dedicated to providing members with mutual economic assistance in the forms of unemployment insurance, loans and cooperative banking. The Friendly Society claims that it isn't a trade union, but rather a cooperative or a bank, but with some hawks within the cabinet fear that the organisation is merely a front for socialist union activities and should be shut down. They all lose militancy. I like the sound of that. I am right that consciousness is a good thing, right? You could increase infamy, which is not a good thing. Okay, you're going to go and attack the Russians. You two can attack them. And then we can go and deal with them. Oh, actually, no, not you. Whoa, well, no. You stay here. You go and attack him. You're going to sit here and recover your morale. Now, we've still not mobilized. I'm going to guess that all of the others have. Yep. So we do actually have a pool of 20... 
uh, 60,000 more men that we could call on if we absolutely needed to. This fight's getting a little bit close. But the fact that we are not mobilizing actually means that our industry continues to hum along at a much better rate. Let's go and send you off to go and fight the next one. Memel, another victory. Let's bring you back here and recover a little bit. You're getting a good amount of experience. Your commander is as well. Other house has been assembled. You've just built a new soldier. You're going to attack me. That's not good. No, you've decided you're not going to attack me. Good. We're going to sweep into here. We're going to grab those troops. And we're just going to back off again. <laughs> Actually, you have no morale. We're going to attack you. You're losing that battle. That's not good. You know what? We're going to try and jump in there if we can. You're going to go and attack them because there's virtually none of them there. Battle of Kutbus, we've won. Our reinforcements were enough to scare them off. Let's back off to Kustrin. Are we still building troops? No, none. Are you definitely the best commander for this? Yes, yeah, so I would say you probably are. You actually lose me morale, and you're defensive. Hold on, hold on. You're not as what I expected you to be. School of Defense. I need to bear that in mind. You want to be attacked. You could actually go and sit down here. No, not yet. You need to recover your morale and stuff first. Okay, you're thrashing the Russians. That makes me very happy. Uh, stack wipe. Let's go and take our province back. In fact, you can go and take our province back as well. You can head over there. Actually, no, you're on low morale now. We will, however, kill them once they arrive in Breslau. Like so. I think I want to split you in half. No, not all of you. I want this army heading over here. Except we have no leader there yet. Let's bring you back here so you get a leader. There you go. You come up here. How are you doing morale-wise? I think you'll be alright. There we go. Easy victory there. Marvellous. Going to start taking some of these provinces back, which is excellent. You're going to go and thrash them. Good. Meanwhile, Britain is smashing up France, although France is actually getting a fairly large... Oh, they pulled Spain in against them. Right, Spain's in the war against France. Of course they are. I've totally forgotten that Spain switched to our side. Okay, that's really good. That's really, really good. So, yeah, we are demolishing them. Yeah, Spain did mobilise too. Of course. And we're about to overtake France in terms of... stuff. We're probably getting a lot of prestige for these battles as well. That's something I should check. Whoa, we are kicking the Austrians here. Why are we hitting them so hard? Good die roll, I guess. Yeah, we do indeed gain prestige for these battles. And a lot of war score too. So, at this juncture, can I say I want something from this war? I think I can. Apparently not. It's not going well enough. Yes, it is. What are you trying to say? This war is going excellently. Right. Oh, no, you're still running. Let's continue to recover. We can continue to take these back. And then I think we need to go and retake our lands down here. We'll keep an eye on that army. We've almost got functionalism, which is awesome. All right, how's Saxony doing? Saxony is still trying to rate this one really high. We're going to decrease the opinion with Austria. You are now cordial. You can't just steal it from me, which is lovely. Unhold still opposed. You're neutral. That's fine. None of those are hugely dangerous. How are we doing in Holstein? Right, that um, 
Discredit should have ended by now. We should probably actually double check if it has. It has. Cool. And then we need to continue taking that. And with that, I think this is a good point to stop. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.